So we'll bring in Easy Drummer 2. And I'm not going to use the default modern library that comes with Easy Drummer 2. I actually created a preset. So I have a user preset, this Neo Soul 60s. Now I have many more presets than that, but just to keep the menu clean and keep things simple, I just kind of organize things a bit. We have Neo Soul 60s. I'll go ahead and load that. So this is something that I created before. It's from the Southern Soul 60s library. This is one of my favorite libraries. I really like this kit. And what we're using is the 16 by 22 Gresh. I have it pitched up just a bit. We we have the five and a half by 14 Slingerland 1930s, also pitched up just a bit. We have the nine by 13 Ludwig 1959 Tom, once again pitched up, and we have a 16 by 16 Ludwig Floor Tom pitched up as well. The hats, we're just using the default 14 inch Zildjian prototype, no pitch adjustment. The crash symbol, we have the 18 inch Zildjian K Custom Dark. This is pitched up a bit. Second crash, 19 inch K Custom Dark, no pitch adjustment. And then for the ride, we're just using the 24 inch Zildjian K Light. Now I've also made some mixer adjustments as well. So you can see we have lowered the ambient a bit. We've lowered the reverb a bit as well. So not quite as roomy as the original preset. I think this works well for this track. All right, so I have Easy Keys open. I'm gonna move it into the corner of my screen here. I'll pin it to stay open while I open Easy Drummer 2. And I want them open right next to each other. And you can see that my time signature and tempo match what is in Easy Keys and also what is in my DAW. Now, the reason I want Easy Keys open is that as I start building my song in Easy Drummer 2, I need to make sure I match the starting point and the length of each section. So I'm going to use all of these song blocks that I've created, basically this arrangement in Easy Keys as a reference while I build my song in Easy Drummer 2. So I'll zoom in a little bit. I want to make sure I'm starting on measure two because that's where I'm starting in easy keys. Once again, I've already gone through and listened to several of the variations within this swinging soul song category. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull in what I've selected and build my song. Now, one thing before we get started, when I was auditioning different variations, I'll go ahead and play one right now. I noticed that the velocity is a little bit low to me. So it's a little bit softer than I'd like. So what I'm going to do is use this velocity slider. You want to make sure you're using the newest version of Easy Drummer 2 to make sure you have this option. And I'm just going to increase it a bit. We'll just go even just up 16. So I'm basically taking the MIDI from this Pocket Grooves library and bumping everything up globally by 16, bumping the velocity up by 16. Now if we take a listen, it should be a bit louder, louder in velocity. Can you hear the difference if I reset it? If I go to any section here, everything is a bit louder. I think that will sound better for this song. So with that adjustment made, anything I drag into the song creator will have that velocity adjustment already intact. So I want to make that velocity global adjustment first before I start dragging MIDI blocks into the song creator. <laughs> 